Hi everyone, welcome once again to Best Recipes with Sharon. First off, I'd like to say Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Included in today's video is my Fall Falls Tour. We took a couple of days to travel and we did this throughout southwestern Ontario. So, what is the featured recipe for today's video? It's pumpkin cheesecake squares. These are really good, so stay tuned and I'll show you how to make them. Just in time for Thanksgiving. We drove down through Kimberley Valley in southwestern Ontario. Down there, there's a lot of sugar maples and apple trees. These ones were wild along the side of the road. Just walking down to the first falls. The pathway close to this falls was very rugged. This is Eugenia Falls. This time of the year, the volume of water is not as much as it would be in the spring, but still very beautiful. Kimberley Valley hosts a Bruce Trail that goes up over the Niagara Escarpment, and this area is known for its fierce winters. And the area has a lot of orchards and it goes for miles and miles. We had a little detour down near Clarksburg and it was a happy mistake. We've seen some swans swimming in Georgian Bay. They were very peaceful to watch and the water was very glassy and calm. And of course there was also some Canada geese. And then we stopped at Grandma Lamb's Orchards near Meaford to get some apples and carried on to Own Sound area and we stopped by Inglis Falls. There's also a lot of trails around this falls. Even though there's now some walkways that's built around this area, it's still quite rugged and deep cracks in the rock where you could fall in if you weren't careful. So it is quite rugged as well, but very beautiful. And we carried on to Concordon area where we stopped and went for a walk on the beach. There was a lovely boardwalk and a nice motel to stay in where we could have pizza and kick back and enjoy the weather. In Bayfield we stopped and got a cupcake and ate it at the park and I got caught licking my fingers. We made a quick stop in Brucefield and carried on over to Rock Glen Falls. Out of the different falls we went to, this one you could walk to the bottom of the falls. So I did that. And once again, another beautiful falls. All three of them very much different from each other. So that concludes our little mini fall falls tour. And it's in southwestern Ontario. Come along with me and we'll go back to the kitchen. And we'll make this beautiful pumpkin cheesecake squares. Heat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Grease and line a 9 by 11 inch pan. So we'll start by making the crust. Measure out about a cup and a half of graham wafer crumbs. Then go ahead and melt about seven tablespoons of salted butter. And while we're waiting for that to melt now, we can just go ahead and add a couple of tablespoons of white sugar and have them slightly rounded. And oh, maybe a tablespoon of brown sugar, again, slightly rounded. So you're adding that to the grain wafer crumbs. And then you take your melted butter and add that to the crumb mixture and mix that all in with a spoon. And it will be like wet sand or kind of a crumbly mixture. And just pour that into your prepared cake pan and spread it out evenly. Now, it needs a little bit of persuasion to get it to spread to the edges of the 9 by 11 inch pan, so I use my fingers and the spoon to finish it off and just set it all aside. So let's go ahead and prepare the actual cheesecake mixture. So we'll start with this by using three 8 ounce packages of cream cheese. Now then go ahead and add a generous 3 quarters of a cup of white sugar and a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. It's nice to use a little bit of sour cream in this, so let's do about a half a cup of that. Now to get this all to hold together nicely, we'll need about three large eggs. And then I use one teaspoon of pure vanilla. Mix this together until it's really well combined. Now 
Now to give it a bit of a swirl effect, we need to remove about a cup and a half of the cream cheese mixture, put it into a bowl, and then add a good three quarters of a cup of pumpkin puree. You can get that from the canned pumpkin. And then add some pumpkin spice, so about a teaspoon and a half of that. Mix that all together until it's well combined. Now just go ahead and watch the video and it's sort of self-explanatory. And we do this part to distribute the flavor but also for the effect. Then go ahead and place your cheesecake into a preheated 325 degree oven and set your timer for about 42 minutes. Now you want it to be just a little bit jiggly in the middle and yet set. If you over bake it, it might crack on you. And 42 minutes seem to be just about right. It was jiggly in the middle and set towards the edges. And as it cools off, it will harden up and set nicely. So now to serve it up, you can eat it plain, or you can add some whipped cream. I like it with the works, so I go ahead and I saute some pumpkin seeds. Roast them up a little bit, add a little salt to it after you've sauteed them in some butter, and then let them cool down a little bit, and sprinkle them over the top after you've put a little dab of whipped cream. And boy oh boy, is that ever good. I'm sure you're going to like this, so give it a try. Happy Thanksgiving everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, happy eating.